Hey everyone, happy Friday. Uh, welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Appreciate you taking a moment to watch. So, um, I have never, in all the videos I've done, I've done, I believe, a little over 80, I've never done a video where I just showed off part of my collection. I've had uh, some folks reach out and ask me to uh, show off, you know, some of what I have. And I'm not ignoring it, I just, you know, <laughs> just trying to get around to do it, to get everything together, decide what I'm going to show, because I can't obviously show everything in one video. Um, so today, I am going to do a video showing you my uh, Elvis 45 uh, single and EP extended play collection. So having said that, I don't have a ton. Um, I do have some. Uh, most, if not all of them, are in either mint or near mint condition. Um, cause that's usually the only thing I buy. If I buy anything, um, that has been played, it's either, uh, very minimally has great shine. Like I said, either brand new unplayed, which a lot of these are, or some, um, that are considered near mint. Uh, so to start out, this is actually a more recent, uh, release. This is from the, um, uh, Memphis mansion label from Memphis to Miami, um, you know, here it says contains previously unreleased material. Uh, this is the back of it. This is actually really cool. So just to read it, actually I'll just show it up so you can take a look at what the back of that says. So side A is an interview. It's nice to go traveling uh, and then fame and fortune. Side B is, I said that kind of quick. So side A is an interview. Next is it's nice to go traveling. Not familiar with that. I haven't played this yet. Fame and Fortune, which he did live on the Frank Sinatra Timex watch show. Side B is Stuck on You, Witchcraft, and a Witchcraft Reprise. So the the uh, cover for it is, is pretty thick plastic, but it's just on um, just regular uh, black label, or like a pink um, label. It says Memphis Mansion. There's side A, and then there is side B. Oh, look at that, side B, whoop, side B. <laughs> side B is purple. That's actually just some dust from the, like I said, I, I gotta clean that, but. So there's side, side B. See, I gotta take the brush and clean that up. So there's that, and then here is the first EP. This is Love Me Tender. Um, this is an original. As you can see the, the back of it. And this has uh, Love Me Tender, Let Me on side A, Poor Boy, and We're Gonna Move on side B. So I have that. Um, here's uh, Peace in the Valley, also near Mint. Um, this contains There Will Be Peace in the Valley for Me. It is no secret what God can do. I believe and take my hand, precious Lord. I mean, I have getting another one in the same condition, and uh, it was, I think it was like, under 20 bucks, somebody was selling it, and I guess they didn't realize what they had, but it came. This one's a little bit nicer. I'll actually take out the, the vinyl on a couple of them so you can see, but there's side A. As you can see, it is immaculate. No label wear whatsoever. The vinyl's gorgeous. So there's that. Gently. Okay. Uh, moving on. Now this one, <clears throat> this was in considered excellent condition. Uh, I got this recently. This is Elvis Presley sings uh, Christmas music. Um, this has the the the. I want to take it out, but the actual uh, sleeve itself is is in really really nice condition. As you can see, that's just the back. So there's that. There's a bag. It's really white for its age. It just came out in, obviously, 1957. Elvis sings Christmas songs. So it has uh, "Bring My Santa Bring My Baby Back to Me, Blue Christmas. Side two is Santa Claus is Back in Town and I'll Be Home for Christmas. So I'll definitely be playing this come Christmas time. I'm going to take a look. The vinyl is actually looks really, really nice. There's side... And then there is side two. So it looks like there's a big old fingerprint right there. I just happened to notice, so. All right. 
So there's that, I'll put that aside. Um, this one is actually in also near mint collection. This is a cream creole. I believe this is volume one. The volume two has a uh, blue cover. So there is, let me see, that's a really, really beautiful shape. Um, and then this is a near mint cover, but a mint uh, record. Anything that's part of you at Good Luck Charm. Good Luck Charm is really one of my all-time favorites. I was very, I just got this uh, about a week and a half ago, so I was thrilled to get this one. Here's also a beautiful copy of the EP, Follow That Dream. In fantastic, fantastic condition. Just got that a, a month, month and a half ago. Around the same time. I'll try to get this to stand up here. Um, so a lot of these I got right around the same time. Um, here's a beautiful copy of Kid Galahad. So a lot of these I got from the same gentleman. And they were in really, really nice shape. Viva Las Vegas, also in fantastic condition. This one I just got. This is uh, this one is considered mint. The sleeve looks really, really nice. I don't have a. I got to get a sleeve for the protective sleeve for this. I just got this fairly recently. As you can see, there is the vinyl. They, somebody has like a sticker, which was common. My mom even did these. Like they put like a sticker on it with their initials. But as you can see the vinyl itself. You can see me in there. You don't don't want that. But I'm not getting a reflection on this. I'd like. There you go. But it's in beautiful, beautiful condition. And I got that for got that for a song. I got this for a really, really nice price from somebody, I think, on Discogs. I'm sure there's that. <clears throat> this one I was really excited to get. Um, Stuck on You and Fame and Fortune. Just got this fairly recently. Overall, really beautiful shape. This one is in phenomenal shape. This is near near mint really very nice copies you can see real sharp glossy quarters corners so there's a it's now or never and a mess of blues this one's also a real nice one first press uh blue hawaii uh for from blue hawaii uh, can't help fall in love and rock a hula baby this was the very first recently since i started collecting vinyl First press of Return to Sender and Where Do You Come From. Crying in the Chapel. Just got this one fairly recently. All this things spin out. All that I am. For time's sake, I'm just going through these kind of quick. You Don't Know Me and Big Boss Man. <sighs> Bossa Nova Baby, and what is on the flip side of this? Witchcraft. So it's in real nice shape. <clears throat> There's always me and Judy. Judy Judy's was always one of my very favorite, very favorite songs. Ah, come on. Because this is not completely filled, the, the records keep falling over in this big case, but we'll get there. Ginger's off to the side playing. Uh, there's this one. This is uh, They Remind Me Too Much of You and One Broken Heart for Sale. A little bit of ring wear on that, but this one is perfectly, this is mint, has never been played. I have not played it yet. If I Can Dream. So, beautiful. Beautiful copy of that. Oh, work with me here. This one I just got this week. I'm leaving. Leaving. <laughs> in harder room. This one I got uh, about three weeks ago. I was thrilled to get this one. I've wanted this for a while. An American Trilogy. I can't remember what's on the flip side of this. First time ever I saw your face, so... That, of course, talks about from Elvis' Standing Room Only album, 
for summer release recorded live, which of course that never came today. This is a mint unplayed first press of Burning Love, and it's a matter of time. This was the very first Elvis record of any kind I got. I got this in December, Christmas of 72. Of course, I took markers and colored some of it. That's what little kids do. I did the very same thing with this one. I got this for my birthday the following year. Uh, separate ways and always on my mind. I think I colored a scarf <laughs> blue, and I think I covered the, the flip side uh, yellow. The goofy stuff kids do. All right, I'm having trouble getting this one out. Okay, take good care of her. We've got a thing about you, baby, on the flip side. <clears throat> Bringing it back, pieces of my life. It's on the tan label. It's midnight, the promised land, also on the tan label. This one I just got, uh, Mr. Songman, which is one of my favorite songs off the Promised Land album, In Trouble. Gotta put that a little bit of ring wear right there, but the vinyl is. As you can see, the vinyl is really, really superb. Also on the tan label, ooh, big old, just pieces of the, 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 the inside of the sleeve come off a little bit. So I gotta get that in the sleeve. I gotta get some 45 sleeves. Uh, so we we're almost at the end here. Uh, I got a couple copies of this. I accidentally got it, but it was pretty inexpensive, so I got Two of this. Help me if you talk in your sleep. That one's on the orange label. There's the other one. Of course, that one's a little bit better shape as far as the sleeve. This one is a Japanese pressing of Moody Blue. Pretty cool. And that is really, really about it. Um, I do have some of the other stuff. I do have... Uh, some over the repress on the red vinyl, which is eh, kind of cool to have, but I don't know how collectible it is. But here's an original Guitar Man with Faded Love. Um, and then I do have a repress of the Follow That Dream EP, as well as, uh, well, that's it. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, not a huge collection. It ain't no big thing. <laughs> but it's growing. You guys know the reference to that, but I'm um, always, always wanting to add to it. So I'll probably have another follow-up video down the road and uh, show you what I've added to it. I have a couple actually coming in the next couple of days. So there you have it. Uh, so I do appreciate you taking a moment to watch. Um, Go ahead have a busy weekend uh, this weekend or having a new deck uh, put on. Uh, beginning uh, supplies arrive today. We're going to tear down the old deck tomorrow or later tonight. And then tomorrow, start building a brand new one. So it's going to be pretty crazy. Not too warm, though. It's going to be decent weather. But I uh, do hope you all have a great weekend, a safe uh, weekend with your family. And until next time, we'll see you. Take care.